Hello, I'm Monkey Man, and I'm going to explain all the details and information about the Dirt World Championship. The Dirt World Championship is a new rally and rallycross esports championship being run by Codemasters. It will take place on the latest game in the Dirt series, Dirt 4. Dirt 4 offers a great rally and rallycross experience with a wide range of cars and locations. The Dirt World Championship is open to anyone with the game from anywhere in the world on any platform the game's on. That's PC, PS4 and Xbox. The three platforms will compete separately during the qualification with the top drivers on each platform eventually competing against each other in the final. For the qualifications events, drivers compete from home using their own equipment with their times uploaded to the leaderboard. Then the drivers with the fastest times compete in the live grand finals taking place at the famous Silverstone race circuit during the Speed Machine Festival. At the finals there are going to be big prizes on the line so it's set to be a big fight. First place wins themselves a chance to drive an RX2 car. That's a real rallycross car, they will be thrashing around the Silverstone circuit. All podium places also win themselves dirt, sim racing setups with wheels and chair etc. So obviously we all want to win such an amazing and unique opportunity in the rallycross car, so let's go through the details of how to take part. It's super easy to join in yourself, just jump in Dirt 4 and head to the community events where you can't miss it. The first event has already started as I upload this, with a rally using Group A cars on Australian stages. There are six qualifying events in total, one each week until the end of March, alternating between rally and rallycross. Drivers get to choose their car from a given category, so for Australia, there are four Group A cars to choose from. Drivers have unlimited retries through the week, so it will be crucial to put in your best run with no mistakes. The top two drivers on each platform at each of the six rounds will qualify for the quarterfinals. That's 36 drivers who will get narrowed down to 18 for the semi-finals and only the fastest six drivers move through to the grand finals. Each final event from the quarters through to the grand final are a mix of rally and rallycross so the winner will be the best all-round driver on dirt. During all stages of the competition, the handling will be set to simulation. In qualification, drivers can choose which assists they want, but in the finals it's all assists off and it all comes down to driver skill. As I said earlier, drivers use their own setups during the qualification, but for the finals all drivers will be on at Silverstone using the professional sim racing equipment provided. Sorry, no gamepads here. And how could they allow gamepads when the winner will be driving a real car? So that's the full rundown of the Dirt World Championship, which is looking like an awesome competition, and I'm really excited about it. I love the driving feeling in Dirt 4, so I'll be getting stuck in. And with Cody saying they are focusing on esports for the time being, it seems like the Dirt World Championship is here to stay. Now though is the end of the video, but if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you quick as.